First at five, we're working major breaking news, a Target 12 investigators exclusive. We learned that former state representative John Carnavale has turned himself in to state police. It is unclear what the charges are at this hour, but we want to go right to Target 12 investigator Tim White, who has the breaking details live outside of police headquarters in Situate. Tim. Mike Shannon, let's uh, walk everyone through how we got to this point and what we know at this hour. Target 12 learned that earlier today, state police detectives were paying a visit to Carnavale's home in Providence as well as his home in Johnston. And when we arrived here at state police headquarters in Situate to find out what was going on, we briefly spotted Carnavale walking into those doors right here, the front doors at the state police headquarters here in Situate. We want to play that video for you uh, right now. Now, what I can tell you is State Police Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Philbin confirms for Target 12, the 55-year-old Democrat is in their custody and will be spending the night here at State Police Headquarters in Situate. Philbin says that Carnavale will be arraigned at Providence Superior Court tomorrow morning. Philbin would not say what the charges are, so I reached out to the spokesperson for Attorney General Peter Kilmartin. Amy Kemp also declined to comment. As you may remember, Carnavale dropped out of his re-election campaign for state representative following a Target 12 investigation that raised questions about where exactly Carnavale lived. He was supposed to live at a home in Providence. That's in District 13, the district that he's represented since 2009. But Target 12 undercover video found him spending a lot of time at a Johnston home outside his district. In that home, he also owns. State GOP filed a complaint in the wake of our story, Providence election officials then kicked John Carnavale off their voter registration rolls after several days of hearings, and that's when Carnavale uh, dropped out of the race. So again, up to speed on what we know right now. John Carnavale just a couple of hours ago turned himself into state police. State police confirm that Carnavale is in their custody. He's going to be spending the night here, and he will be arraigned tomorrow morning at Providence Superior Court. Now, we're still working this developing story. We've reached out to Carnavale's attorney, trying to find out a little bit more about what's going on, and we'll have the latest for you tonight at 6 o'clock. For now, live in situate with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. Tonight with breaking news that the Target 12 investigators broke first. Only our cameras were rolling as former state representative John Carnavale turned himself in at state police headquarters less than two hours ago. You may remember our undercover investigation last spring that included this bizarre and unfor unforgettable video that raised serious questions about whether Carnavale actually lived in the city he represented. Carnavale later dropped out of his race for re-election. It's unclear what charges he's facing at this hour. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now live from state police headquarters with the breaking details you will not see anywhere else. Earlier today, we learned state police detectives were knocking on the doors of Carnavale's Johnston and Providence home. So when we arrived here to state police headquarters in Situate to find out what was going on, we spotted Carnavale walking through those front doors. And as we later learned, it was to turn himself in. This is exclusive Target 12 video of former state representative John Carnavale turning himself into the state police at their headquarters in Situate. Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Philbin confirms the 55-year-old Democrat is now in their custody and will spend the night at the state police barracks. Carnavale will be arraigned at Providence Superior Court in the morning. The state police would not say what charges Carnavale is facing. A spokesperson for Attorney General Peter Kilmartin also declined to comment. Carnavale came under scrutiny after a Target 12 investigation in June questioned where the Providence lawmaker actually lived. Carnavale was supposed to reside at this Barber Street home in Providence's District 13, where Carnavale had been a state rep since 2009. But Target 12 undercover video often spotted him at this Johnston home he owns, including this bizarre moment when Carnavale apparently spotted our cameras, then reemerged with a T-shirt wrapped around his head. Carnavale later claimed he was suffering from allergies. You have no, you have no story here. Okay, tell me why. Whatsoever. Tell me why. No story. So tell me why. You didn't file on your ethics commission. You own that property. How come? 
You have no story. The state GOP later filed a complaint with the Providence Board of Canvassers, and Providence election officials ultimately kicked Carnivali off the voter rolls following several hearings. Carnivali dropped out of his re-election bid in July. We reached out to Carnivali's attorney, but we have not heard back. Again, John Carnivali will be spending the night here at State Police Headquarters in Situate. He will be arraigned in the morning. We'll be there and bring you all the details. Live in Situate with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.